Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we will be watching pole setting with expanding foam. Our participating utility is Kansas City Power and Light, and this video is sponsored by BMK Polecrete Stabilizer. Now as we pan down, you will see a new distribution pole that's going to be put in place of this very much listing existing pole on the fence line. Now the job starts as every job does with a tailboard safety meeting. Notice a couple of things. We're wearing GoPro cameras on a couple of the crew members for filming and also they're wearing kind of heavy clothing. It's a little cool this morning in Kansas City which will make a difference in just a little bit. Uh, you see here the backyard machine that they're going to use to set the new pole. Pulling some mats out to protect the yard as they bring that backyard machine into the backyard. Now next we will set what are called outriggers on this backyard machine and a ground wire into the machine. And next we're going to connect a chain and rope to the new pole to pull it up into position. See they have to watch for the trees up above. And as that new pole gets moved into position, in fact we'll see the jaws of this digger derrick grab the pole and help guide it into the hole. Here's a demonstration of how deep these poles go, about six feet down. Notice the copper ground wire facing us also. Once that pole is down, they're gonna spin it. Notice that white circular dot that helps guide the pole to make sure the wires are oriented correctly. And now here's a ground wire that they're putting into the base of the pole that they'll need to go outside the foam. And speaking of foam, here is a crew member going back to the truck to pick out buckets A and B of two chemicals that will be mixed to create the expanding foam. It's kept in the truck cab in order to keep the temperature at between 70 and 75 degrees. When you mix these two chemicals together, it creates an exothermic reaction. So again, the chemicals need to be kept at a constant temperature. In the summer, you'd probably leave them in the truck of a cab with the air conditioner running to keep them between 70 and 75 degrees. Now you see as the chemicals are mixed they form sort of a pancake batter consistency solution that is then poured directly into the hole around this new distribution pole. And now this part of the video is sped to about four times normal speed to illustrate how the foam comes up, expands up around this distribution pole. It actually forms something of a water or moisture barrier, helping slow wood decay on new distribution poles. Also notice the ground wire sticking out above where the foam will come to. A few minutes later, the foam dries quickly enough that you can shovel away the excess foam and start to put fill dirt around the base of this distribution pole. And this part of the video is back to exactly real time. About 15 minutes later, you see a lineman climbing up this newly set pole. They're going to swing around a three to 500 pound transformer that they're going to hang on this pole. So the expanding foam set quickly enough that 15 minutes later, a lineman can get up and work on this pole. Now that's a big advantage in uh, storm restoration situations or accidental damage, a car accident taking out a pole can get the pole back up quickly and get to work on the line right away. And so as we watch the crew shut down this backyard machine, you can see our lineman and new transformer up on this new pole, which was just set earlier this morning with expanding foam. And with that, you have seen our TND How video on pole setting with expanding foam. You can even see some of the dried foam on the ground as our lineman descends the pole. Our participating utility was Kansas City Power and Light, and this video was sponsored by BMK Polecrete Stabilizer. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you, as always, for watching.